I'm trying to do this. I'm embarrassed for you. <laughs> Me too. But it also seems oddly very intimate to read your your um <laughs> your 2011. <laughs> <laughs> I Wait, honestly, I haven't shown this to very many people. Who else, just feel... who else do you think read this? Who else was visiting your Tumblr? <laughs> well, n okay, up? no one, no one who knows me knows right where there. my Tumblr is. Like, no one in my life knows my Tumblr identity. Good call. Um, I may have shared, I know, <laughs> I may have shared, like, random pieces here and there with, like, close friends, but I don't, I wouldn't even know who those were or what they were at this point. Let me chug this white clam. I'm going to try this. <laughs> I am also, I'm going to chug some wine, too. Uh, oh, so I did sit, I did hit to start recording, so maybe I should explain real fast what's going on here. Um, so I thought it would be a really great idea for us to share shit that we wrote, like, during our awkward, angsty adolescent periods, um, because Chet told me that he had found some of his old stuff, and so then I graciously volunteered to go first, um, right. yes, because it was my idea, and I, I don't know, I'm trying to be chauvinistic or some bullshit, whatever the fuck. Um, so anyway, I found it before we started recording and then I tried to get myself to read it to Chet and I am not physically capable of getting myself <laughs> to read this shit. Um, but Chet's going to give it a try. And in case we didn't say this while we were recording, this is from August 27th, 2011, apparently, when I does, posted does this. It, so. Does it have a title, or is it untitled? No, nope, it's it's untitled. Most of my shit is untitled, it looks like. Okay, here we go. Oh, man, this is hard. This is tough. This is tough. Okay, I'm okay. going to do it. <laughs> oh, my God. I. <laughs> this is, oh, this is, this, is hard. this is tougher than if I had to read something. Okay. <clears throat> Consumed, needed, loved, <laughs> perfect, purpose, passion, peace, seasons, hearts, minds, lives, changed. You changed. I stayed. <laughs> I craved. You played. Pampered. Dropped. Broken. Forgotten. <laughs> you did it! I got through it. So let's let's go back and analyze. <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah. Consumed, needed. <laughs> <laughs> when you said let's go back and analyze, I didn't realize that we were getting analyzed line by line. Yeah, line, we're <laughs> line by line. Consumed, needed. So you felt consumed. <laughs> But you're also happy that someone needed you. Yeah, you know, I, I felt loved and it was perfect, if you will. <laughs> oh, so that, okay. Purpose, passion, peace. That part, um, that part kind of lost me, but, um, you felt you had a, you do have a purpose or you had a purpose or you're in search of a purpose. What What's the thinking on that? I think, I think it's like, I think it's supposed to illustrate like both of those first two clauses, like a, a time when things were good, you know? Okay. I got it. I had purpose. I had passion. I had peace. But then. <laughs> but so like seasons, hearts, minds, lives, they change. Um, well, some, some change, but not for others because apparently you stayed. While well, someone else changed. Changed. Wow. That's crazy, man. You know what? Sometimes people change, man. Um, and that's a bummer. Yeah, and then you have to write sad, angsty poetry about it. Yeah. But then, you know, sooner or later you change too, so. I'll that's out. true. I am one hell of a different person yeah. than I was September 27th of 2011. Hell yeah. I craved you played. <laughs> this part. <laughs> I just, I wasn't ready for you to jump back into it. I was taking a sip of oh, wine gosh. and I just about spit it all over myself. Oh. <laughs> I craved you played. That's pretty powerful. Pretty powerful totally. stuff. There. Um, and, and they both end in ED. So. Yeah. I like that part. That's yeah. <laughs> it's a very artistic choice. <laughs> I like that part. Um, huh. I it seems pretty straightforward. You're, you craved someone else played. Um, yeah, there's not a lot to interpret there. Tampered, though. Tampered. You felt as if you were tampered with? 
Uh, yeah, yeah. And, you know, looking back on the event that I'm sure I must have written this about, I think I did feel that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dropped. Were you were you physically dropped? or? Yeah, uh... totally. Like, as a baby on my head, which probably resulted in this fucking poem <laughs> that I wrote. <laughs> 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 yeah, they joked about me being dropped on my head too. Mm. Rude. Uh, Rude. <laughs> ruined. Um, <laughs> broken, forgotten. Um, so you're broken and then you were forgotten. Hell yeah, okay. left in the dust, just like every other t- person in my life. I don't know, I'm trying uh, really hard to uh, roll with this. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. It's, I, um, you know, how, wait a minute, how old were, were you in this time period? <laughs> Um, I would have been 18 or 19. Ooh, I was hoping you were a little younger than that. Um, yeah, me too. Nope. No, I'm joking. No, I'm this joking. was, I would have, this would have been the beginning of my freshman year of college, bro, because I graduated high school in 2011. I got, I got ya. Um, Oof. dude, that's, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. That's some pretty, it's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe basic. that's what we should call this segment. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Um, that's some pretty basic, uh. You know, uh, angsty post- teenager shit. Angsty teenager shit. That's that's right up. That's good. And it here's the thing I like about it. Huh. Or I don't know if I like, but um, <laughs> yeah, that's a strong word. That can help. It's not. Um, it's very. Uh, you know, there's not a. Uh, what am I trying to say here? It's from the heart. It's sincere. You're. you're it's not like you're trying to be um, something that you're not. So in that way. It's very innocent. Um, mm, yeah. And that way, I think there's some, there's some, you know, it makes it a little less cringy. You know, it's not like you're trying to be deeper than you are or trying to anything like that. It's real, it's real on the, you know, it's just real. Yeah. It's just real. It was real. just, it's just my feelings at the it's time. And I was feelings. just like, here you go. Here you go, world. Here you Fuck go, it. Tumblr. Strangers. Yeah, have it. Have it. Come read this. Come have this I'm shit. Upset. So people change, but not me. I stay. <laughs> I got dumped and left in the dust, and now I'm, I've been forgotten I'm, about. Now I'm kicking rocks. Now I'm kicking fucking rocks, brother. Dude, so how yep. long, um, it seems like you got over it. You seem okay now. Yeah, yeah, I think I did. It took probably a shameful amount of time. At this point, it was already a shameful amount of time. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Honest. Would this, would this, you know, <laughs> we don't have to go into details, but would this have been like the first time you were uh, heartbroken? You, you stayed and someone else changed. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. Well, so yeah, yeah, I was like not really involved with anyone, and then all of a sudden, like at some point during high school, I met this guy, and I was like, "Oh, God meant for us to be together," because you know I was that God person. And then he was like, "Oh, you know, I don't think this is right for me." And I was like, "What the fuck? You were meant for me." Yeah, God told me we would be together. Like, I was a crazy bitch, bro. I was, like, seeing, like, wedding dresses and shit. That was back when I was still capable of love. That's what everyone does the first time. Yeah, yeah, totally. I was just like every other bitch, but then, yeah, Yeah. aftermath was this. That's totally. That's totally normal. (laughs) If it's the first one, you're going to go a little crazy. You're not prepared. Yeah. Let me make a suggestion to any young listeners out there, though. Like, if let your first person, let you also be their first person. Don't date an older person or somebody who's had their heart broken a few times if you haven't. Because that's just a recipe for problems, I think. I tend to agree. I tend to agree. Um, Mm -hmm. Here's the other thing, too. Dude. Dude. You you don't. You don't want to fall. You don't want the first person you're with to be the person you're with for the rest of your life. Think about that. No. That's Mm -mm. fucking crazy. Like, you might, occasionally, some people might just really hit the nail on the head and good for them, but, like, in general, no. (laughs) I'm trying to think if I know if anyone in my direct friendship zone of my friend of people I grew up with, like, I don't think anyone, I don't think there was such a thing, like, high school people. Wait, well, there's some people I vaguely know, but, like, close friends, no one stuck with the high school, you know. Right. Bullshit, that first person. Um, yeah. And I don't think that there's anything wrong with it in principle. I just think it's very rare that you find a person that's actually a good long-term compatible partner for you when you are 15. Like, it's true. And I feel like those But if people... you do, there's nothing wrong with, like, staying in that. Right. And if it works for you, it works. But I feel like, you know, usually when you hear about, like, couples killing each other, it's like those ones <laughs> that were... It's like, oh, they were high school sweethearts. 
<laughs> one of them got the other one killed the other and threw him in a fucking. There was no fucking ditch. escape except for death. Because they don't know anything else. Mm-hmm. Um, well, and then there's like some people just are fine with that and at peace with that, but a lot of people, like this asshole bitch over here. Would be like, would totally be like the grass is greener on the other side. Like, what the fuck am I missing out on? Who didn't I get to screw? You know, like that would have totally but have been it, me. But I feel like that's the natural, uh, that's na- that's a natural feeling as well. Yeah, which um, is why we here at Two in the Bush podcast encourage you to go sow your wild oats before settling down. Indeed. Um, wow, that was something. I like, that was fun. Um, I'm glad that that was our cold open. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna. I don't know what I'm gonna make it to my uh, my treasure chest and. Uh, oh, but you gotta have something that you have access to. You said something about how you had an online journal that you wouldn't tell me where it was, but you know where it is. And chat, I expect some shitty, angsty writing well, for me to thing. analyze next that week. That may not what? even have angsty writing. That might be like, I hate this fucking person, and then it says their name. <gasps> oh, like, I don't. I don't even know how to to go about finding this. Um, let me see. I'm gonna try to look it up now. I don't think. Hell yeah. There's any any way to find it. I think it's probably lost. To, I don't um, think that's true. I think you're making that shit up. I don't know. I don't think I can find it. Anyways, I'll look into that at some point in the future. Um, hopefully that doesn't exist anymore. Hopefully that is destroyed and forever gone. I can't say I agree. Well, I mean, I feel like. Um, the actual web, the the thing it was hosted on doesn't even exist anymore, so I don't know how it could oh, be out there. I'm not going to name... I'm devastated I'm not going to say what it was, because I don't want some private sleuthing people to go on there and find it, but I think... That would be me, at yeah. me. And, uh... Chat, I think MySpace still exists. It's not MySpace. It's even <laughs> before that. That's because I'm old. Damn. I'm an old bitch. Damn. Here's the thing. Oh my god, I was going to talk... I was going to actually reveal some of the cringy things I did on it. Please. But I won't because it's just... Why? Because it's like a vague memory. I can't even give you all the details. You always set me up to like, you're like, oh, I'm going to tell you this. And you're like, no, never mind. I'm not going to tell you. You're such a fucker. You're such a bitch. That's that's rude. That's me. That hurt. Well, Um, you hurt me. Listen, here's the deal. What? Um, I know one time, uh, one one time on there I posted like, I did an interview with myself. That was a pretty good one. Um, <laughs> I don't know who was supposed to be asking the questions, but it was like, I was, I, I were, that was a good one where I was like, do you remember any of the questions? No, or but it was all, well, they were all pretty passive aggressive directed towards people I didn't like. Um, yes. That was, that was Fuck weird. Fuck me up. Um, that was a weird one, but that's kind of what I was going for. I was like, I want this to be weird, but kind of in a cool way. Kind of like people read it and they're like, yeah, he's obviously talking to me, talking about me. Why is he doing it in a fake interview? No one's interviewing him. And I'm like, yeah, I know that. It's, it's for, yeah. it's, I'm doing a, I'm doing a bit here. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. There's some other creepy ones. I wrote an open letter to a person I didn't like, but I changed their name. But I was like, you, yeah, I did the old, <gasps> if you're reading this, you know who you are thing. And, uh, Ooh, yeah, you did. You're a but then, bitch. But then, oddly, that person came up to me, and they're like, oh, hey, we read that letter. Who was it about? And I was like, oh, it was about you. Oh. But now I think they were doing the double game, where they're like, I know it's about me, but I'm pretending I don't know that it's about but me. I'm going to so, act like I don't. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to ask you about it. And now when you... But you told their ass. You told their ass it was about them. No, I didn't. Oh, you said. Oh you no, didn't. no, no! I'm Fuck saying. You. I said in the letter when you Fuck when you, you read Fuck this, you know you. who it's about. And then they read it, and then that person, among other people, were like, "Oh, who's that about?" And I was like, "Oh, that's about you." In my head, but I didn't say it to them. I'm like, "Oh," but then because I'm like, they're playing the double game. They're like, "Oh, they know it's about them," but they're coming to me acting like they're ignorant. Like, oh, uh, I was like, "Dude, that clearly <laughs> was, that about? Yeah, that's how oh. he, that's how they talk. I was like, that clearly illustrated, like, all of your actions. I was like, how would you not know that, too? Um, Brother. This is from, like, high school. You know, this is high school shit, guys. This is what you do when you're in high school. Well, when you, at least this is what we did back in my day. I don't know what they do now. But, uh. I'll, hey, if I, hey, listen, if I can dig that up, I'll dig it up. I don't got a fucking problem with it. I'll put that stuff, I'll fucking shine a light on that. I just don't know if I can actually access it. It may be gone. I hope you can. I'm going to be really sad if you gone. can't. And maybe I but, hope I can. It sounds terrible. I don't want to have to read that. Well, I guess you'll read it, and I feel for you if you have to read that. 
I feel for me too. No, are you shitting me? It's gonna be the best moment of my life. Jesus, I'm, I'm glad I had. I'm glad I've had such an impact on you. I'm potentially. Yeah. I may give you the best moment in your life, but hey, it was all worth it. Yeah, totally. Like it, you know, totally. Everything was worth it. Hey, brother. <laughs> yes, I'm here. <laughs> I found a whole new wealth of, like, horrible shit of mine. Do you remember Facebook notes? Um, what were Facebook? I remember F- Facebook is so, um, I remember there was, like, a bulletin board, a bulletin thing, and then you could leave comments on people. What were the were notes? What were notes? Were they, like, your journal Notes entries? was basically, like, Tumblr, yeah. Like, you okay. could make notes and, like, share them. Yeah, okay. I got ya. And I just found a fuck ton of... <laughs> Facebook notes that are the same kind of shit. Now, are we saving those for another episode, or do you want to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just, I'm just letting you know that how, they're, they're here. How do you access your Facebook? Or um, not Facebook, your MySpace. <laughs> Sorry, Jesus. Oh, your MySpace. Hell, I don't know that. How do you? How do you? Oh, you're talking about Facebook. I think in MySpace. Yeah. Sorry. Bitch, I done said Facebook. I've had, I've had. I, listen, I ate a Casey's pizza at about four <laughs> a right whole plans. Casey's pizza. <laughs> um, I'm living very Iowa right now. It's did you hear me? I asked you if you ate the entire Casey's pizza. Yeah, I did. I'm proud of you. It was a medium. But that's like an actual. That's not like a frozen pizza. That's a real fucking it pizza. Is. You know, I think their trick. I don't know what the fucks up with their pizza. I think what they do, they don't put any. If you've ever noticed, if you've ever had a Casey's pizza, yeah, um, they don't put any sauce on it. It's just like fucking dough and cheese. That right? sounds miserable. Not crazy. It's just fucking I don't shit. know, because I usually, I usually get the breakfast pizza if I'm getting Casey's. Yeah, I know. That's what everyone says. I don't get it, man. People, they love Casey's pizza. I don't get it. It's fucking the gas station. You eat it. It's okay. It's good. I got it because it was on the way. Let me just put it that way, brother. But <laughs> if Casey's wants to throw some money this way, I'll tell everyone about fucking Casey's. Hell yeah, fucking Casey's, motherfucker. That's where it's listen, at. They know how to... They do... Listen, famous for pizza... That's what they're fucking saying. Listen listen to that. It's a gas station, but they're famous for pizza, guys. That has to tell you something. Pizza's yep. better than the gas. It's cheaper. <laughs> it's cheaper, man. Yeah, yeah it is. Jesus That's true. Christ. Um, hey, can I tell you? Can tell I tell me. you something? Tell me, bro. I, I didn't put this to our fucking uh, little outline because I suck, but I stumbled upon this article the other day, and can I just... I have had enough... A fucking white people and their white people bullshit. Oh shit! What they do? What did so, they do? Let okay, me wait just a minute, wait, 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 let, wait a minute. Okay. Wait a minute. I, I you, listen. I've been drinking yeah. the, this white claw. I already got to piss. I'm uh, okay. You piss. I'm about to get into a Billy Brown situation right now. So um. Oh my god. I gotta go pee real quick. I'll be right back. That was nice. Okay. Bye. I'm starting to wonder if I should spring like a piss bucket in here and just piss on the air. I, 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 I'll tell you what, too, man. I was up, piss on you know, me, beat me. I beat you. You want to move in? You can move in. <laughs> well, um, I'll tell you what, man. I, I've been in here eating this fucking pizza, slamming these white clams. The whole time I've been sitting in this chair, fucking sitting on my my leg. So I got up and my legs asleep. I'm trying to piss. I can barely stand up. It was a, a, a trying situation. Um, oh my god! I got, Yo, how'd you handle it? Like, did you stand on one leg? Yeah, I was kind of balancing on one leg. <laughs> <laughs> <What? the> only- <laughs> kind of had to. Um, but uh, where were we? What about these white folk? What are they up to? Yes, yeah, fucking okay. So let the record indicate that I technically don't have proof that these are white people. And I'm um, yeah. But just based on the activity. And I'm also going to say, based on the name, I'm feeling pretty fucking confident that they are. So, this came out two days ago on Wednesday the 28th, and this is from CNN. Officials released video from Gender Reveal Party that ignited a 47,000 acre wildfire. Oh, I've seen that video, yeah. Yeah! I was like, fuck you white people and your stupid goddamn gender reveal parties. Uh, I'm pretty sure. You literally destroyed a forest. The guy was like a a border patrol agent or something too. Are you shitting me? Yeah. Are you shitting me? I'm not shitting you. I'm serious. Wait a minute. Maybe I'm shitting you. I think I read that. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't commit to that, but I feel like that scumbag was also a Border Patrol agent, which makes perfect sense. It really does. So apparently um, they were doing a gender reveal party by making targets with the word boy and girl written on it, and then they were going to shoot the target 
and then whatever color of the gender mm-hmm. of the baby was gonna like fly out. So like that happened, um, but then it ignited the surrounding brush Br- and caused brush? the brush, 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 bush. brush, <laughs> the brush, the brush. <laughs> But that's what, it became the sawmill fire, apparently, which happened, like, last year, by the way, and they're just now, like, finding this footage and coming out with it. Maybe that Um, should have been the name of this show, Two in the Brush. (laughs) One in the foot is worth two in the brush. Listen, here's the thing, I seen that video. Oh, you're right! It is off-duty U.S. Border Patrol agent Dennis Dickey. Dennis Dickey, Jesus Christ. Yeah, Dennis Dickey, white ass motherfucker. Yeah, there's no doubt. Enough, enough, white people. Enough. No more gender reveal parties. Okay, first of all, that's just a bullshit opportunity for you to get more presents for your baby. Fuck you. Fuck yeah. both of you. And you guess what? This you, is shit. You don't know what gender it really is. Fuck you. That's yeah. That's their. Yeah. Decision. What if you're wrong? That's oh, yeah, thing. it's just a sex reveal party, motherfucker. Not gender. You don't know. I have an article about that, too, but we can hold yeah. off on that. And here's the thing. I'm not done being pissed, yeah. You watch the video. I swear to God, you watch the video, and it looks like this fucking video has been being taken in the driest, fucking hottest fucking area on Earth. I mean, well, yeah. the, the heat vapors are rising off of the ground. It, there's, like, dry, as you said, brush. <laughs> Bruch is a, there's dry bruch everywhere. I mean, do you, yeah, this is Green Valley, Arizona, south of Tucson. Apparently, it, it would yeah. not take. Let's a fucking beat. have an explosion. Why don't yeah. we? Fucking dicky. Fucking dumbass white people. That's okay. I've had it enough. Enough of the gender. Re- enough of the sex reveal parties. Listen, I I didn't even want the kid. Is my first thing. I don't want to know what sex. I mean, I don't even care. Oink. Yeah, I'm not gonna celebrate Jack shit. That. I'm, not, I'm depressed. This is not a celebration. <laughs> I'm gonna get drunk. Yes, I mean forced into this by some woman who I God. impregnated, and I'm sorry. And ugh, that's probably how Dicky felt. I'm, I'm speaking in character here. This isn't my personal thoughts. Yeah, I don't but, know. I don't know. But uh, Jesus, you yeah. think that, that that child is gonna grow up with the shame of knowing that like his or her gender reveal party ignited? A wildfire. Uh, he's gonna grow up with the shame that his dumbass dad has to pay back the government eight million dollars. <laughs> yeah, he owes. Yeah, I was like, he owes a fuck ton of money over that. And monthly eight million one hundred eighty-eight thousand sixty-nine dollars. <laughs> I want to know what the monthly. It says in monthly installments. Do you think they go easy? Like, how do they give it? Yeah, well, I don't know. An initial payment of one hundred thousand dollars, and then monthly payments thereafter. What if their monthly installments are a hundred thousand dollars? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! I, I, I'm I'm thinking the government wants to collect the money somewhat realistically, so they may I don't know who knows. Well, yeah, but how long does he have to live? Like, oh no, well he's gonna kill himself. I fucking would. Jesus, that's a <laughs> lot of money, and for what? For what? For your dumbass little fucking thing. They like that's so fucking. Ah, uh, what a dick! What a dicky! I don't get yep. it. No, like no one yeah, cares. So all that to say. Yeah, all that to say, no more gender reveal parties, okay? They were always dumb, now they're dangerous, let it go. Why do people always act like it's such a big deal to have a kid? It takes, like, literally no effort. Like, anyone can do it. Yeah, in fact, you need to, like, try less hard to have a kid than to not have a kid. Right. Obviously. Exactly. Yeah. Like, anyone can have a kid. Let's let's have an I'm not pregnant party, yeah. shall we? That's a good Like, deal. you've been sexually active for ten years and have not been knocked up once. We're throwing you a fucking party, that, girl. You're gonna get wasted. I throw that party, like, every other day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna throw myself one of those. Listen, on the ten-year anniversary of me having lost my virginity, I'm gonna throw myself, like, a milestone never been pregnant party. Think about those poor people that when they the first time when they lost their virginity they got pregnant. Horrifying. Oh fuck all that. How, fuck all that. How terrifying is that? Oh my god. Ooh. I tell you what, they're never gonna enjoy sex, those people. They don't. It's immediately associated with negative consequences that right a, off the bat. A negative consequence. Oh mm. that is a child. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, I mean I don't get the sell is this whole patting yourself on the back, like, ooh, yeah, I'm cool. I, I fucking shot some cum in a chick, and it, the sperm went into the egg, and it made a baby. Aren't we awesome? Everybody give me a high five. Aren't we cool? It's like, you haven't even raised a motherfucker yet. We don't even know if you did a good job. Yeah, I'm not congratulating you yet at this point. Yeah, it's like, no, I'm going to hold off. Give, give Hey. It's 
I'll talk. It's to the you same with years. weddings, though. Like we celebrate people when they decide to get married. We don't really have a big party for them when they've made it for twenty years. You know, but, it's just like, oh, good job. But generally, though, you kind of have an idea. You know, you go to the wedding and you act like, oh yeah, great guys. Went in the back of your head, and you're like, oh, what the fuck? I'll give it a year. And you're like, what the? Fuck? And then some people, you're like, <laughs> makes sense. That's cool. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm getting choked up just thinking about them. Uh, thinking, about the, thinking about all the weddings I've been to. And I'm like, oh my god. <clears throat> but uh, <laughs> get it together. <laughs> I know. I'm falling apart here. All the weddings I've been to, I've been like, oh my god. I've only been to one wedding in my entire life where I was like, this shit ain't gonna last. And I was right. Oh, I thought you were going <laughs> to say you've only been to one wedding where you thought it was going to last. And I was like, I've been to two <laughs> weddings <laughs> with you this <laughs> year, so... <laughs> the majority of weddings I've been to, including most of you guys, I'm a very <sighs> confident man. I'm like, that's very good. That's a good idea. Yeah. That's a good That's a good pick. Um, they did a good job. They did a good job. Congratulations. <laughs> um, but there's been a one... I've, I've only been to one where I was like, uh, I don't no. know. I don't know. I'm not feeling... I was like, I'm just... <laughs> I just, I don't, I'm not feeling good about it, guys. It's, it's yeah. Awful. I don't, should I say something? I guess not. I guess you're not allowed to do that. But, uh. Oh, well, yeah. Where's my speak now or forever hold yeah. your peace I moment? Yeah. Like, I speak now. It's going to be awkward. If I really care oh, that dude. much. Oh, dude. Bro. Yeah. One of my, like, listen, if I was granted three wishes, I think one of my wishes would be to attend a wedding where someone actually objected. I think, have we spoke about this? I think we may, have, but anyways. That'd be the greatest thing ever, just to be at a wedding where that happened. Yeah, and I don't want it to be someone who's in love with the bride or groom. Oh. I want it to be, like, a completely objective third party who's just like, I think this is a bad fucking idea. You guys suck. Like, oh, I wanted it to and be then bad. they just go into all the reasons why. I want it to be a very awkward situation where someone's like, I love you. <laughs> And they're like, I'm I mean, here to... that would also be entertaining, but just how petty would it be if there's no, like, what's in it for them? Like, there's nothing in it for them other than just being like, I don't think you're a good couple. Like... I wish we had some statistics. I wish we knew, like, how how many times do you think someone's been like, no, I love you? And then the I'm other... going to scour. Other... I'm going to just... But the other person agrees, right? Yes, I love you too. And they call off the wedding. Like, how many times <gasps> does that happen? The great oh one. my god. What? Why are you getting married if you have what? feelings for someone what? who's not your spouse? What? People do that all the time. What are you talking about? Oh ah, god, it scares me. It well, scares I, don't, me. I, don't, I don't think you would do it, but I mean, people do that. I don't time. think I could. So, I have someone, so much anxiety someone about that. Someone may do that to you, but... Oh my, that's not funny. Bro, <laughs> no. I, I can't ever accept a proposal. They'll be like, will you marry me? And I'll be like, hell no. And they'll be like, why? And I'll be like, because I know you love some other bitch. <laughs> and then they, they go, no, I don't. And then you say yes. And then their wedding I'll happens. Be like, and then bullshit. someone else is like, I, I object. I object. And he's like, you know what? I do love I love you I too. Love her. Or him. Ah! Um, oh. It could happen. But I wonder how many times has that happened? I mean, it's had to have worked out for someone a couple times. Yeah. Or, you know, a couple times it's had to have worked out. But then, the, even better is the times where someone just like, you know what? I'm putting it all out on the line. I'm going to do it. It's my last chance. Once they're uh, married, I, you know, it's uh -huh. all over. And then they do it. And then the person's like, uh, get out and leave. This is weird. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. No. No. What? You're shitting on my wedding. Oh, my God. Because hey, it would take a, a, a certain amount of, uh, like, selfishness to do that. Cause, oh, yeah. I mean, a lot. A lot, actually. A large amount of selfishness to, to do it at that point and be like, you know, it's a really high risk. It's like, okay, either they're going to be like, yeah, or they're going to be like, uh, Absolutely you're not. my fucking wedding. Uh, don't. Yeah. You're yeah, fine. and either way, it's all about them at that point. You need to object to it several months before the That's fact. That's true. Like, That's true. Or wait till they get married and then have an affair. You know, let them be married a couple years and then they get bored. And then you yeah, yeah, and then in. you'll have a better chance. And you come totally. In, like, hey, you know what? I, I, you know what? I've always been waiting in the wings. We got the thing. What you gonna do? <laughs> this is not how someone would say it. I don't know how. We got the thing. I don't know how these things work. What thing? What thing what do that? we got? Like, well, you know the thing. We got the thing. You know, you've been married a couple years ago. You know, what do you say? You know, it's. A little spite, a little spice. A little like, spice. And then they're like, you know what? Don't fucking talk to me. Oh my god. I don't know how you would I don't know. Um I don't know how people have affairs. I don't know how you do that. Um 
It sounds exhausting, honestly. <laughs> I mean, we have the thing. We have, you know, we got... <laughs> Maybe oh, you would know, hey, what do you say? I'm sure, right? It's pretty boring. You guys have been married a year and a half. How's that? I mean, yeah, you got to be sick of him by now, sick, right? right? Like, come mean, on. You're bitching, come on. You're bitching about him all the time. What do you say? You, know? you have definitely got a cyclical pattern of lasting about two years in any given relationship, and we have reached that time frame. I, feel like, I believe it is my turn. I feel like some people are probably really good at having affairs. I would not do, I would never do that because I'm a stand up person. But. Totally. I mean, if I did, I would like be so bad at it, though. It'd be like that. Like, what about this? <laughs> what about this thing? And they'd be like, "Are you talking about your dick?" I'm like, "No, this this thing, you know." <laughs> what? I'm like, I'm like I, <laughs> I, 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 uh, you know. What about this thing? About this Are you thing? talking about your dick? <laughs> no, but I mean, you know, it's it's in the equation. But I mean, that's. <laughs> But, uh, you know, the, you know, what do you say? You know, in a couple of years, this marriage, marriage doesn't work, right? You can't be happy. Like, oh, yeah, come on. Pretty, pretty good. Like, Why? You're pretty good. That's not great. I was like, I don't know. Um, great. Great. <laughs> All that to say, affairs are hard. You, Speaking uh, of that, um, my, yeah. uh, well, I was about to give away too much information. <laughs> Someone oh. on Facebook yes, <laughs> shared please. an article <laughs> From a very, very religious standpoint. Um, so the title of this article, this is from ChristianHeadlines.com. Cool. The title of this article is Court Bar's Father from Teaching Six-Year-Old Son That He Is a Boy. Okay. So, a Texas court okay. told a father that he could not teach a six-year-old son that he is a boy or tell him to dress like a boy, even though the child chooses to be a boy around the dad. The boy is stuck in a custody case between ca ugh, custody case <laughs> between the father and mother. The mother insists that the boy is a transgender girl, and they have a gender transition therapist who has diagnosed the boy with gender dysphor dysphoria. Dysphoria. Um, yeah, gender dysphoria. <laughs> Jesus. When the How am I but when talking better than you. <laughs> no, it's dysphoria. It's not dysmorphia. Yeah, it's dysmorphia. No, I hate you. Okay, so apparently, basically, around his mother, the boy says that he's a girl and he identifies as Luna, but around his father, the boy says that he's a boy and he identifies as James, which was his birth name. And, like, um, basically, the father is, like, calling on the Christians in his life to be like, uh, look, like, don't let them force my son to be a girl. Um, blah, blah, blah. And so, like, all these people are on Facebook, like, oh, my gosh, we have to pray. This is sick, yada, yada. And I'm like, but this story is very much just from the side of the dad. Yeah, and for all we know, maybe the dad is, like, trying to force his son to be a boy. And that's why the boy is saying that he's James when he's with his dad. Like, yeah. and I'm not saying that that's necessarily the case. Like, if there's any amount of uncertainty or, like, discontinuity between, like, the parents' houses as to how the child identifies and maybe hold off on any kind of like, because they were talking about starting like hormone therapy. So I'm like, yeah, hold off on that if he's not sure. And the kid's like eight. So like, give it some time. But like all these people are calling for like, the dad needs to have exclusive custody over this poor boy who's being told that he's a girl. This is sick. Blah, blah, blah. We need to pray and intervene. And oh. it just pissed me off. Oh, and to sum it all up, it just pissed me off. Here's, here's the thing. Prayers yeah. don't do anything. So I'll table that. Ooh, um, damn. Not to, not, not to go out on a, a big old limb there and make some bold statement, but that just not, that's not going to help. Okay, so we'll get rid of that. Um <laughs> You know, I'm um, not even I'm not even gonna say that I know if I agree with that, like in and of itself. Okay. But like regardless, you're just looking at one side of this story and all of these Bible thumping homophobes are like, Yeah, we gotta save this poor boy who's being told that he should identify as a girl. And like for all you know, the kid is just scared to be his girl self around his dad. And I'm not saying that that is the case. Maybe he really is being forced to identify as a girl with his mother, and we do need to get him out of that yeah. situation. But, but just you know, look at both sides. But you know that doesn't that doesn't in their in their in their worldview that doesn't exist. That's not even an option. So you can't right. you can't be like hey and explain that to them and have them. Oh yeah, no, I understand. Well, and I was yeah, I was like rearing up to like type out this whole <laughs> well thought out thing like. 
being very respectful, but being like, hey, you know, this is only one side of the story and there are all these possible explanations, so maybe we don't need to jump to this conclusion. But I was like, it's just going to start shit and nobody's going to give a fuck right. like, what I have to uh, say about this. Here's the thing. That's unfortunate for the kid. That's um, that he's stuck in this so sad. with the parents fighting over him or them, sorry, fighting over them. Um, and uh, I don't know. I haven't heard from the kid, so I don't know what the kid thinks. Um, nor isn't it, you know, I hope it all works out for them is all I can say is, um, yeah, that's a, yeah, that's like a hopefully... troubling situation where you have, not only is it enough, you know, it's, you're compounding it. You have parents, you know, your family's breaking apart and you got the two parents in a custody battle. That's like traumatic enough for a kid. Now you add on yeah. thing that the, the kids having, um, issues with how it, it it's, you know, uh, identifies that's, that's a tough that's a tough road. I, I, you know, I have a lot of empathy for the kid. I, I hope, I hope it works out for him. Yeah. Uh, or her, whoever. Yeah, them, I don't know, whatever they decide or whatever they, whatever conclusion they come to. Um, yeah, that's just, that's terrible. I yeah. would say, uh, here's the, you know, ugh, that's bad. You can't trust. I don't know. I haven't looked into it. You can't trust. I don't trust anyone. I don't try. I don't. Yeah. I don't know what's going on here. This is just let the kid be the kid, and they'll figure yeah. it out. And you. Yeah, like let's maybe not do hormonal anything yeah. at this point, and just let. Oh, the kid's not eight. The kid is six. Jesus, if you're listen, let the just. Let the, I didn't know jack shit when I was six. Just let the yeah, but maybe some people are six and they do know jack. They do know some shit. Which um, is totally fine. Which totally listen, fine. I, I the more the more I the older I get, the more I realize. What a stupid little fuck I was. So <laughs> there's probably other six year olds that knew everything about themselves. I was just like over there eating fucking play doh. And I'm like, this is pretty good stuff. <laughs> well salty, huh guys? And they're like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> That's not food, you dumb fucker. That's not food, you dumb fuck. And I'm not God. I'm not a I'm fucking boy, I'm a girl. I'm like, I'm sorry, I didn't <laughs> I'm this is a dumb fuck over here eating play doh. Uh, oh my god okay one more closing comment on this okay the father has a blog that you can go to and oh, look at updates no, on no, go. and his friend launched him a gofundme page oh are they making money maybe that's what this is all about yeah maybe it's all bullshit yeah <laughs> that's maybe cool. the parents are in on it together oh they're yeah like, we like, hate each like, other but let's make some money in this they, divorce yeah they probably are that's what i would do if i was ever getting a divorce i'm like listen i know we're ending this and it's the right decision, but it's going to cost some money. It's just, we got the fucking little shit here. The kid that broke us up <laughs> and we never wanted, but we did. And now it's a mistake. Let's just say the fuck <laughs> the pony thing. And maybe it's a boy, maybe it's a girl, maybe it's something in between. Who knows? But you know, we're really, you know, we're on. We'll cause some drama. We're on we'll make some sides money. Of the tracks here on this one, buddy. We'll pay for our divorce. And then we'll pay for it. Then maybe a little extra cash. Go on vacation. Go on vacay. Yeah. Yeah, separate vacations. Yeah. I don't fucking want to go where you're going. Yeah, fuck you off. I've had enough of your Bitch. ass. Bitch. You broke me. Yep. I wrote a poem so, about yeah. it. Let me read it. Let me read <laughs> it's it. It's from September 27th of 2011. To right now. Oh my god. Please don't do it. Please don't do it Consumed. again. Consumed. Need it. Stop. <laughs> I'm over it. Consumed. I'm over it. I'm over you. Don't forget to find one of yours for next week. I'm so I can't. I will not find it. I'm not going to my parents' house. But... No, please. <laughs> <laughs> please. Um... <laughs> You've got to have something in your vicinity. No, I have. You think I'd carry that shit around with me as an adult? Yes. No, no one would. <laughs> I know. Hey. I do. I have this no, shit. No, but yeah, in a digital online, I don't have the notebooks. I have notebooks too. Yeah, with you? I'm not leaving that shit at my parents' house for them to find. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, I don't know. What are you, a sociopath? That's some crazy shit. I, if my parents found it, I'd just be like, well, that's all your fault. Oh, uh, fair oh, enough. But I was there. Well, but if I my parents found it, they'd be, like, they'd be like, what sick fuckery is this? And you go, that's <laughs> your fault. You know? All that. Yeah. All that in there. You need to look at this yourself. This is all, I'm going to hell because of you. You look at yourself in the mirror and look what you did, mm -hmm. what you created. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you talk to God, bitch? Yeah. 
Listen. Oh, I'm sorry. I wouldn't call either of my parents. Yeah, a I was bitch. like, that's pretty harsh. I don't even call my. Yeah, I it even, felt harsh. I don't even call my parents' <laughs> names. <laughs> in, what? I got caught up in the hypothetical situation, and I, I mean, forgot that we were talking about our actual parents. Well, I mean, one of my parents is awesome, and the other one, I I could probably call names, but I wouldn't because I'm not. Yeah. Vindictive. Um, you're not a little piece of I'm shit. Little, I'm not a little vindictive bitch. Um, I, however, I know I'm a little piece of shit. Listen. Fucking. <laughs> oh, you know another thing. I just uh, fucking. I maybe I've ranted about this before, and it just pisses me what? off. What? You know you're. What does? Maybe you're hanging out. You're talking about some political things with people your age, and you think you're like minded. And uh, you run into these people sometimes, and they'll be like, "Oh, they're very liberal," and they'll be like, "Well, we gotta save the earth. Oh, global warming." And they talk about all this bullshit. Okay, you follow me? I'm okay. Yeah, I'm following. Stuff. And then, but then they'll say something crazy. Like, um, like what? Ugh, I know these, I know the, oh, I know some people and, uh, they're meth heads and they have like five kids and all they do is sit at home and, uh, they get welfare and they take care of their kids for them. That just makes me sick. I work all day. Oh. Uh... And I go, okay, one, you just talk to, like, the lack of empathy for human beings. One, I'm like, okay, you're talking about drug addicts. Yeah, first of all. And you're automatically calling them scumbags. I'm like, like, aren't these people we probably want to, like, you know, get help for? Help, yeah. Yeah, right? But there's this weird, uh, it's really easy to de- dehumanize people, but it's but it's easy to pontificate in this, these generalities of, like, oh, let's save the environment, let's treat animals right, or whatever the fuck. And then you're going to turn around, you're going to talk about a fellow human, human beings with other people they're caring for yeah basically saying they don't have, deserve to live yeah you're not gonna have compassion for them and you're gonna bitch about how they're s- taking money f- fucking from the taxpayer it's like hey listen motherfucker if these people if this is true the story i'm hearing that there's some meth addicts and they have a bunch of kids and they're getting government benefits it's not like they're living some dream life and so you got people that are drug addicts and you got these children they're in this unfortunate situation where their parents are drug addicts um, yeah, if nothing else, have compassion on the children. Like, right. they didn't do and shit. And it's like, okay, oh, I'm sorry, oh, you're getting a fucking thousand dollar tax credit per kid. That's That ain't shit. I mean, whatever. It just blows my mind sometimes when people say stuff like this. Yeah. I to get that off my chest. And I get what about it. the humans? What about the kids? Right. What about the fucking even the drug addicts? Like, there's a, it's a real American thing. I don't know what it is about this country. We're uh, shitty. Fucking, someone, someone gets addicted to drugs. It's like, oh, they're fucking scum of the earth. They can't. It's like, that's a fucking, that's a sickness. That's an illness. These are people, and maybe they are shitty people before they even got on the drugs. We don't know. But they're still a human. Off of the drugs, they'd probably probably be somewhat better than they were on them. And generally, um, in general terms, I'm not not for everyone, generally a lot of people that are addicted to drugs, they have some sort of other trauma that they're they're trying to fix with that shit. Deal with, right. And that's that's something you have to have compassion and empathy for. And a lot of people... Even people that profess to be, you know, uh, you know, liberal or left leaning people don't have. And I'm like, well, what the fuck's wrong with you? We're, we're now we're talking about fucking real people here. Yep. Anyways. Well, and I think I think part of what feeds into that is specifically in our culture is that a lot like I mean, yeah, there's like the middle and upper class people. They're doing all right. But a lot of the like working class people like work really fucking hard to not do any better really or not do much better and so i think a lot of it is just this bitterness of like i'm putting in like i have two jobs and i'm working all this time and like i could just be not working to get that money so like i get like the bitterness there but that's not beef that you need to have with people who are collecting welfare that's beef that you need to have with like the system that you're stuck in and the fact that you're getting severely underpaid for what you do and like you know like that's not like we don't need to take away human rights we need to create a better like working system like where you're not getting shit on even though you're working your ass off and i think that would help take care of some of it are you even still there yeah i'm here <laughs> i just got you hang after that <laughs> no i really think that's a big part no. of it i mean like like all these people are like i'm just fucking bitter because i'm working my ass off and they're doing almost as well as me they got their iphones blah 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 and, like, I, I get the frustration, I guess, but it's not an issue with the fact that we have welfare. Like, we want to keep but that. The idea that we're acting like having a fucking uh, iPhone is, like, a luxury or having a fucking, uh, a fucking, having cable is a luxury. Motherfucker, a poor person can get an iPhone pretty easily. Right. 
and if it's through probably shady means they're not paying full pr- guess what spoiler alert the motherfucker didn't pay full price for the fucking iphone what they got, it, they got it through some other means i mean that's this is how it works that's blowing my mind with fucking poor people you think this motherfucker went out and paid a thousand dollars for an iphone hell no you're fucking dreaming you're the fucking dumbass who fucking got your iphone stolen I, who has your fucking iphone <laughs> jesus <laughs> Yeah. dumb anyways yeah we're just a bunch of bitter salty fucks who only care about us apparently i'm just like what's Enough of that care, what's, let's care about the fellow man for a moment yeah, okay like, why can't we like Jesus fight Christ. for all of us to have better lives and try instead of trying yeah. to like claw other people down in order to do better for yourself it's like let's just have a little a little sympathy for everyone yeah because um, that's what it is it's like oh i'd rather have the 200 dollars back out of my taxes that are going toward welfare it's like, or we could all like just be in a better system where everyone right. is well, doing also, okay. You're, you're feeding into a stereotype that people that are on welfare are all drug addicts, which isn't true. Not true. The majority yeah. Of them aren't. I mean, it's probably a fraction. It's probably a very small percentage because um, most people aren't drug addicts or the whole fucking world would be dying. Yep. Um, but that there is a cycle. I get it. There's a, 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 a circular cycle. If you're poor, you probably do drugs because you're poor and your yeah. life fucking sucks. Thus, you're on welfare. I get that. Some people get out of that. Some people don't get out of that. That's just that's just the way it's it, it is. Yeah. But anyways, you yeah, know, hell, some motherfucker. You listen to some heavy. motherfucker. You listen to well, you listen to some motherfucker pontificate for fucking forty five minutes about some su- su- oh, let's not fucking get straws in the fucking turtle's nose or whatever <laughs> fuck. And then and then two seconds later, they're like these fucking meth heads fucking on the welfare sucking the government tit and i'm like what the fuck are you talking about ah, i want like, do what? i know this person that you're referring no, to no you don't know this you okay don't know this person and this okay. is like more of a universal uh person than, well but it seems than... like it was triggered by a very no, 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 no. no it's, it's definitely not about anyone we know oh, okay. but um but i'm just saying like I, I don't understand the switch on that i don't know i mean i like the i want to save their turtles and the person. Yeah, like, can't we save, can't we save them all? Can't we have just a good world to live in where, like, we're all taken care of? Like, shit. But, uh, I don't know, man. Anyways, that was just, that was up my craw. What <laughs> 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 the fuck, I don't know what a craw is. I uh, don't know, you dad. tell me. Will you Google it? Up my craw, dad. Get up, up my, my craw, dad. No, not dad. Not, no, no, no. Up my craw. Up my craw, I'm... daddy. I think crawdad is a is a little creature. It's a, like a fish or some shit. A fish. Um, <laughs> a craw. The stomach of a person of animal. Oh, the stomach of a person or animal. A craw. <laughs> it's like person oh. of animal. Shut up. <laughs> it's your don't stomach. Don't talk to me that fucking way, bitch. Yeah, don't you dare speak to me in that manner. <laughs> you, don't, you didn't know what a fucking craw was. It's a stomach. <laughs> hey, you didn't know either. You looked that shit up. Get off my dick. But I knew I had to be up something. <laughs> oh, up yours. Up your craw, motherfucker. I think it goes up your ass and it will eventually get and to your stomach. And into my craw. And up into my craw. Jesus, man. My craw. I'm going to start telling. I'm going to start using that as a fucking. I'm gonna, listen, dude. I got a craw ache. <laughs> yeah, I can't come <laughs> into work today. Why? My craw's <laughs> acting up. My craw's aching, man. You want to believe. Something fierce. You believe. You want to believe. God damn, man. <laughs> This thing's doing crazy. This fucking thing. My craw won't start grump. Stop grumbling. Won't start grumbling. Start, start grumping. I'm gonna fucking, fucking kill myself. I'm over it. You should, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's man. rude. No, I was mean. I really don't mean. I would. I would. That oof. hurt me. No, it did not. No, it didn't. It wasn't even true. <laughs> I would never. I would never say that. Ah, don't and never you, say never. I had never. I had not mean it. I could never. Don't listen. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to push you to a point of actually you wanting me to kill myself. That's dude. I've never been okay. Other than my very immediate family, I've never been so angry at someone that I'd say something like just kill your fucking self. Um, Damn. What? That happened with your immediate family. (laughs) Oh, did you not get in arguments with your siblings or anything when you're? Well, no. But listen, here's the thing: we are very, very passive people. Oh, okay. See, uh, my family, we're very passionate people. That must be nice, actually. Not anymore. We're adults now, but when we were young, 
Um, and since stuff got heated, I mean, it was it would get you know things things would be said. So I'm just. I am honestly incredibly jealous because we were just so stifled and suffocated and just. Oh, we were the yeah. opposite. Stifled oh. and stuffing. We and now were, I'm fucked up because of it. I'm working on it. We were fucking pushing people through windows. Oh my god. Oh throwing my god. knives at people. Um, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm still jealous. I'm still jealous, honestly. Anything you could think of. Um we and but we all love each other. It's, it's out of love. Yeah. Um, yeah, totally. <laughs> but uh <laughs> But, uh, god damn, man, I'll tell you what, um, I don't know what we're talking about, uh... Our fucked up families that were fucked, fucked up, up in totally up. opposite ways. Yeah, but at least yours was stifled. No, are you kidding? You know, I had to, you know, I, I had to learn you, how to express myself. You don't want to hear some of this shit. <laughs> I'm sure it was crazy, but... You don't, you don't, man. You would tell you what. I'd You'll trade. I trade. I had to teach myself how to. I still struggle with expressing my. And it's not even one of those things. It's not even one of those things where it's like, oh yeah, it hurts because your family will tell you the truth. (laughs) No, it's like (laughs) it hurts because your family will lie to you and tell you some really fucked up shit about yourself. (laughs) That isn't true. They're just they're trying to hurt you. They're just (laughs) yeah. They're making an effort to upset you, and that's not. It's it's not the. uh, (laughs) Oh, that really hurt because it was so true. It's like that really hurt because you're. You're a fucking vicious fucking rude. motherfucker. You are a vicious motherfucker, and you're trying to tear <laughs> a fucking person down. I was like, that is some dark shit. Let me I mean, see what I got. But I see what I got up my fucking toolbox here, uh, up my craw. Oh, yes, thank you. Uh, I got. Listen, calm down. I was getting there. <laughs> if I had to die for here. every time <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> calm down. Um, I was getting there. Calm down. I'm getting there. Um, <laughs> dude, tell you what, I wish. Uh, I wish um, cameras would have been around. Well, the cameras were around. Uh, yeah, I was like, I was I'm pretty in. sure those have been around for a while. But How old like are you? <laughs> I meant like easily accessible, like cell phone cameras when I was like an, a teenager. Like See, you could have just been like, Listen, oh, I'm going to put this up on Snapchat. That's how old I am. I just like, well, I wish when I was a teenager, cell phones had cameras. But uh, Jesus, I wish they I wish they did because the shit we said was crazy. You taking it? What the fuck? Is that? I'm pouring some wine. Are you pissing? Or... <laughs> yeah, I brought a piss bucket. You were unprepared. Like, like, listen, that was a good suggestion. I went ahead and, <laughs> I went and grabbed one while you were what? up. Yeah, I told you the power went out, but really, I was getting the piss bucket. <laughs> yeah, um, oops, clumsy it's, me. The power. It's a, went out. Uh, it's a Quaker Oats uh, container. I'm so. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> I mean, it would be perfect. That would um, be per- that'd be a big old fucking no, because they're kind of papery. So I feel like the liquid would eventually oh, yeah. go through. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm not Don't fucking with that. that. I'm not fucking Don't with that. that shit. Don't use. You'd that end up shit. with piss on the ground. <laughs> God damn, you know what? That's the number one thing you don't want is piss on the ground. Well, I don't know if it's number one. I mean, I don't want like AIDS. That's probably comes before piss yeah. on the ground. You don't want AIDS on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want AIDS in my craw. AIDS can't live outside the body, but also. <laughs> so I don't want it in my craw. You don't, man, if it's in your, my craw. If AIDS gets inside your craw, then you, you are kind of fucked. I'm going to start just like using it and just seeing if people think that I'm referring to my vagina. And then I'll be like, what the fuck is your problem? I'm talking about my stomach. Do you not know No, you is? should start referring to your vagina as your craw. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That you know what? I'm gonna go home and like shave the area around my craw. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> does anybody terrible. suffer from an itchy craw, or is that Listen, just me? <laughs> Damn, someone got some stinky craw. Do here. you? Yeah. Do you ever get craw discharge, or what's the deal? <laughs> Craws discharging, man. I can get a craw down up in this. You know what I'm saying? Craw down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I hate you. I'm gonna go, go fishing for some craw daddy. <laughs> you ever go down to the creek look for some craw daddy? <laughs> <laughs> this sounds so fucking stupid. <laughs> you ever go down to the creek? The God, crick? that's so Iowa. It's like Iowa and Missouri, I think, are the only places where a creek is a crick. 
That's what they called it where I grew up. <laughs> They're like, Crick? <laughs> I'm like, it's Creek. I've, they, that's what they taught me in school. They're like, no, no, no. It's Crick. <laughs> that's I'm the like, Crick. Oh. I definitely thought for a, a shameful amount of years that Creek and Crick were like two different things. Like, like a Crick was a smaller version of a Creek. Well, no, 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 no. I think that's what I, I think. That is what I thought. Of, I think that may be indeed kind of what they're getting that might be true hang on i'm gonna look up crick versus creek well crick isn't a real thing you're not (laughs) gonna find you versus oh yeah i am bitch it came right up what did it say one is a body of flowing fresh water smaller than a river and the other is a pain in the neck (laughs) unless you're from (laughs) appalachia in which case the latter crick is an alternative pronunciation of the former Creek. But but it's not from Appalachia, <laughs> you motherfuckers. It's yeah, not. that's here in the bush, bitch. <laughs> Don't be taking that shit, you mountain fox. People also ask, is a crick a body of water? What is crick um, water? Well, while most people only pronounce crick the way it is spelled, some pronounce oh. creek, the body of water, as creek or crick. <laughs> I don't call it a crick. I know people that call it a crick. I yeah. call it a creek. But if uh, I want, but if I want people to know, like, where is this motherfucker from, or what's he doing, then I'll, I'll pull out Crick down there. Crick, <laughs> and they're like, oh yeah, like a river, but smaller. They say it up in Canada too, because I was listening to some uh, Canadian uh, country singer, and he he wrote he wrote Crick in his song, and he sung. But it do, do they actually say it in Canada, or is he just trying to market uh-huh. to like the U.S. country? No, I think I think he. Canada's pretty redneck, so... I think he's authentic. Yeah, I could see that, honestly. Like, Canada's, like, the the northern bush. Yeah, people don't know that about Canada. They just think about the cities in Canada, but a lot of that shit's, like, country. Like, like Oh, yeah. I feel like... Hills. Yeah, that's some red-green shit up in yeah. there. So, <laughs> so much <laughs> Red-green? Red, Did you ever watch that? Oh, no, what the fuck you're talking about? <laughs> it was on IPTV, and it was the red-green show. What the show. fuck is IPTV? <laughs> Listen, some of us were too poor for cable, okay? That was the girl. What is IP? It was Iowa Public Television, bitch. Channel 11 in my neck of the woods. Did did you ever watch RFD TV? What the fuck is that? Yeah, you don't know. You don't want to know. No, tell me. No, no, no. Look at all this stuff. Real fucking dick TV. I wish. I would have been watching it every goddamn day. Oh, yeah, you would have. Dirty. I would have like, that's my favorite. That's um, my favorite. That's my favorite. <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> I'm just going on down with a crick, take myself crick. a bath. Yeah, get, you know, clean out my craw and watch <laughs> some RFD TV. That's you know, my, my favorite. My fucking crotch crawl down there in the crick. <laughs> <laughs> come up, come up there, out, come up there, down there, supper time. Grandma had the tear of pie going, I watch RFD TV. <laughs> one time, one time I was down there in that crick, crawl that got me. Stop it. Why the crawdad got me? Oh, it was sensual. Um, this is, what? <laughs> I'm looking for a crawdaddy. <laughs> um <laughs> Jesus Christ, I don't know what we're doing. Jesus. I don't know. Make it stop, please. This is how people talk in the bush though. If anyone's listening to this and you don't live in the bush, that's how they that's what they do. They go down to the creek. They look for crawdads. And they they wash their clothes. They wash they, they wash, they bitch about Washington, them damn politicians. Oh my God. Washington. Yep. Uh, the revenuers, the tax <laughs> revenuers. I swear it's God, some goddamn Pinkerton comes up in here. <laughs> what are their problems? <laughs> I'm working. Oh my God. I'm Don't tread on me. I hate, I hate these Iowan redneck hick motherfuckers that are like, yeah. Fucking don't tread on me. I'm like, bitch, you're from Iowa. Sit your ass down. That is Texas. You are not Texas. Go there if you want that. Shoo. Ain't no one treading on you anyways. Yeah. First of all, first of all, ain't nobody treading on your ass. Shit ain't that bad here. They're like, they're like, I refuse to debate gun law with people who don't know which bathroom they're supposed to use. Like. What? Fuck you. But honestly, listen. You know what bathroom to use? What does that mean? Oh, they were talking about the like whole like oh should men be allowed to use women's bathrooms if they identify as a woman? Yeah, like so we know. Yeah, and they were being like oh fucking you're you have a dick right? You use the man's bathroom. Not gonna tell me to give up all my guns. 
I don't get the I don't get the connection. Do they mean dick? Are they being like their dicks are guns? No, they're saying like oh, I refuse to I debate it. gun control. I get it. I get it. They're saying okay. Well, then <laughs> you dumb fucks don't know what bathrooms to use. Yes. How can you talk about guns? Yes, that's what I they're saying. It. And I I'm like, there are so thought. many things wrong with this. I just want to shoot myself with one. But you don't know how to use a gun because you're a liberal. Right. Yeah, I can't do that. So. <laughs> Um, God. I was, I was invited to go deer hunting over Thanksgiving, um, Ooh. which I, <laughs> I said no to, um, not because oh, I'm come a, on. what part of that doesn't sound like the most fun you've ever had. Here's the thing. I'm not even against hunting. That's like, whatever. No. That's, listen, you want to go shoot a fucking thing and eat it right on Do brother. It. I eat meat, it. whatever. Yeah. yeah. But the whole fucking ritual, the whole fucking thing, the whole it Sounds fucking, miserable. Dude, they're like, we're going to get up at four in the morning. Okay, first no. off, yeah, I'll be awake at four in the morning, motherfucker, but I'm going to be going to sleep about 4.30. Because I haven't slept yet. Okay. <laughs> One, it's fucking, do you not know what fucking time of the year it is? This is fucking December. Yeah, or, it's cold yeah. as hell. It's cold. And you got to wear that fucking bullshit, that fucking camel. I'm like, do I have to go buy a bunch of shit? I don't even have shit. I can't even, I don't even have anything I could wear that would allow me to go out into the element for that long. Nope. Nope. I do it on purpose, so I don't, uh, you know, if I someone so says something like that, so I can't do it. They're like, oh, well, we got some extra. Fuck up. Listen, I'm too fucking skinny. You're all some fat motherfuckers. I ain't gonna think of this. <laughs> I'm um, gonna, this isn't gonna work. I'll freeze to death gonna, out here. I got no body fat. And like, I'm just, oh, how, th- I don't know, it's threatening. Well, yeah, so you gotta like, you gotta get all the gear on after you've yeah. crawled your ass out of bed at four in the morning, and then you have to just sit there in silence, not moving, and wait for a deer to cross your path. Fuck all that. And I'm, do, they, do people not know me? I'm a miserable fuck. I yeah, mean, I'm if a, you sit still for that long in silence, you're gonna spiral into a pit of depression. And here's the, I mean, you've never seen me, the people listening, you, you guys have never seen me in the morning. I'm a miserable, I fucking hate, I wake up and I'm pissed. You know? <laughs> You don't want to. You don't want me waking up and then I'm going outside and the, this bullshit. I'm this pissed. In the cold. I'm fucking yeah. I'm shooting that gun. You're gonna look like the dad from fucking The Shining. Is what you're gonna I look am, like. That guy. I'm looking like fucking Jack. Yeah, Jack Dude. Nasty. Jack. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm lost in this conversation. Um, <laughs> I don't yeah. want to be, I'm just not going out. I'm not doing it. I'm not going out there. It's yeah, it's cold. not happening. And like, if it was in the summer, and you're like, listen, you can wear shorts. It's a, for the summer, you fucking drink beer when you do it. Hell yeah. Well, I'm there. But like, I don't think you should probably be shooting guns when you're drinking beer. I get, like, listen, I get people do it, but I'm not going <laughs> to do it because it doesn't but sound like a But just as like a principle, it's probably thing. not wise. But if you could drink beer and you could just shoot things and it's warm out, I'm not. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Yeah, well, and okay, say you survive all of this and then you actually shoot a deer, you have to, like, drag that carcass somewhere. You have to clean that fucker out. Ew. Get up in that no craw. No, the fuck, thank you. Sorry. What? What'd you say? I said get up in that craw. That's what I thought you said. Fuck you. Listen. <laughs> I'm like, I pay people to do this shit for me so I can just go to the grocery store <laughs> and buy the, the meat and be done with it. Yes. Yes. So, whatever. I'm not. I, I guess the point of the story was I was asked. I said no. It's never happening. <laughs> I, why, I have I, no interest. And I'm like, why would you even present that question to me? Have I not made it clear? Like, have yeah, I? Yeah. Do I look like the type? Yeah. This is like, what is this? Is this some kind of game? I'm like, no. I'm not. Never. Not because. And it's not like I look down on it. I mean, I look down on it as far as like, who the fuck would get up at four before the fucking rooster crows? And fucking be out here in the fucking snow. So man ain't yeah. meant to be in the snow. If you wake up call, there's an ice age and some motherfuckers died. Yeah, bitch. We're trying to get warm. We're trying to warm this motherfucker up. That's what we've been doing for years. Yeah, that so don't be- drag me out into the cold. Fuck. Yeah. I'm pro-global warming. I am. Warm this bitch up. Yeah. So warm yeah, morally, up. morally, we have no qualms with hunting. We just think if you enjoy it, you must be a sociopath. That's all we're that's saying. All, yeah, that's all I'm saying. You got your fucked up Jesus. I mean, listen. You're I don't fucked know. up Jesus. Fuck. I mean, I'll go down to the, your fuck. <laughs> you, I just don't get it, man. I'm not down with it at all. I'm not. It's not going to happen. Not this guy. No way. No how. 
No way, no how, bitch. I know you have a bunch of fuckers down there like, ooh, let's go down here past, past old fucking Bucky's Crick or some bullshit. You're out in the uh, woods. You're like, I don't know where the fuck I am. Bucky's Crick? What is this bullshit? And, they're, and they all know. They're like, it. oh yeah, you're gonna head north about two miles. Yeah, and two then clicks. Gonna... <laughs> clicks? Yeah, it's a bullshit, they say. Oh my god, I'm over it. I think it's, it I think it's a military term, but uh, I've heard it. That's not the same as Hick. Hick? Yeah, those all those six are either in the military or they wanted to be. Uh, that's right. not that's you know for the hicks that I know, I've not run into that actually. But I've seen really with the hicks that I don't know, I've seen it. I know what pattern you're referring to. But the <laughs> hicks that are in my life, that's not true at all. Well, they were cowards. Oh, <laughs> they should have they should have volunteered to protect the yeah. country. Bitches, come on. Tell you what. <laughs> yep. <laughs> nothing i would do but i mean if that's something you're into cool but yeah totally I like haunting um <laughs> what else is going on dude i'll tell you what man tell propose- me what listen we we're talking about marriage and proposing listen to this yeah man proposes by putting ring on penis and asking girlfriend to perform sex act oh i wonder which one i don't yeah i mean <laughs> i mean it could be a couple really um, yeah it could be here was my thing and the article doesn't maybe to- hey yeah. hey Hey, maybe he wanted her to take it off of his dick with her craw. <laughs> Could be like, listen, <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> it really could have been. It could really. You can get. Listen, you can get. You can get that. Here's my thing. Yeah. Now maybe I'm reading this wrong. Man proposes by putting ring on penis on penis. Yeah. So it's like, is it sitting on it or is it around the penis? Because if it was around the penis, then. <laughs> Um, I mean, no, I'm not saying anything. I'm just like, does she, how big are her fingers? Yeah, first of all, she's or got her a finger. big fucking finger or he's got a skinny fucking dick. Yeah, that that's really what made me click on the story. Because I was like, is it like, but then I'm like, if it's just setting on his penis, like how did it not fall off? How did it perfectly, he like tangled yeah, it up? Yeah, maybe he like, maybe he used some tape or like tied some like he tangled hairs. it up in his bush. <laughs> This, this is, um, uh, let me read the article. She, uh, yeah, please. Uh, she wrote on Facebook last night. He asked me to blow him. <laughs> I, uh, put there my it hands, is. I put my hands on his cock and this is what I pulled out. He is truly a blessing. Pulled out? Yeah. This is just, it's pulled written. out of what? I'm out of sorry. his cock. Out of his I cock. Put, I put my hands on his cock. This is what I pulled out. Yes. He is truly a blessing in my life. I want to ask for anything else. Here, I'll read. <gasps> I'll read her. her... She shared that detail. Oh my Listen, god! This could just be. This could be. We don't know if this is real. This could just be made. Oh, up. I wish I had a dick so I could do stupid shit like last, this. Last night he asked me to blow him. I put my hands on his cock, and this is what I pulled out. He is truly a blessing in my life. I want to ask <sighs> for anything else in a perfect relationship. Don't date a broke. It's blurred out. Fuck. I guess maybe. Fat. Maybe she said the N word. Yeah. I don't, well, there's an F, but then it's blurred out. Don't, oh. Don't date a broke fuck. And if you get, and if you give him the best head, he'll ever get. What? She's not good at typing. Her, don't date I'm a broke. I'm surprised. Let me try to read this again for the third time. Yep. In a perfect relationship, comma, don't date a broke fuck. And if you give him the best head, he'll ever get, comma. Cook him food and don't be a cunt. You might get a diamond too. Oh my god! I don't really know what to make of all that. Well, first of all, you might get a diamond too. She's talking like she's the only woman on this planet who's gotten a diamond. Listen, most bitches have been proposed to. Like a lot of bitches are married. I feel like a lot of times so it's diamond. Sit rings. your ass down. Sit your ass down. Yeah, don't act like, oh yeah, my secret is giving good head to rich men. Like, that's the only way to get married. I don't know if he's rich. She said, don't date a broke fuck. Oh yeah, don't date a broke fuck. Yeah, she did say that. Yeah. I forgot that part. Yeah, Jesus. he could afford the diamond, apparently. A 1.6 carat? I don't know what the fuck that means. Don't yeah. Know. Don't ask me. I'm poor. Yeah, I don't know jack shit about carrots. You'll be get, I'll be giving out like a that. fucking... <laughs> Plast one of them fucking out of the fucking bubblegum <laughs> machine. 
Here, bitch. Here, marry bitch. me. Marry me. What do you say? We got. What about this? What <laughs> She'd about, be like, "What is that? Is that four carrots?" I was like, "What about this thing we have?" And she went, <laughs> what stop, thing? Stop. You're always talking about your, your dick. Penis? <laughs> You're always talking. Did you put the ring on your dick, you son of a bitch? I'm like, no. It's disgusting. I'm gonna have to get that off with my craw. Yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, the only reason I clicked on it is like, did he put it around his dick? I was like, and then I was yeah, like, like have, I was like, maybe no. like it, she has a, I was like, does she have big fingers? Does he have a small dick? Was it, is his dick, dick, is his dick small, but then it got hard and then they couldn't get the ring off and he had to go to the doctor. Ooh. Jaws of life or some bullshit. I don't know. The jaws of no. life. <laughs> so did you get any answers on that or no? No, I read you the, basically the whole, whole article. It's like, God damn it. They don't answer. That's what you get when you go to the mirror. Dot co dot uk. Dot uk. That's why you go to these fucking tabloid <laughs> yeah. rags. God damn it! I am. This is haunting me. I want to understand. I think I'm going skinny penis. See, because what it says put on when you when you read the article, man proposes by putting ring on penis. You immediately envision like a cock ring or like yeah, something. Totally. Like you don't. What you if don't he proposed imagine. with a cock ring? Like, what if it wasn't something that's meant for her finger and it's just a cock ring? Like he he bought himself a diamond <laughs> cock, cock ring. ring. <laughs> He's like, listen, bitch, you'll appreciate this more than an actual ring. It vibrates. You, here's the thing, you know, diamond cock rings exist. Oh, like yeah. just how rich you have to be Absolutely. to be that fucking asshole who has a diamond cock ring, or to be the bitch that buys your boyfriend a diamond cock ring. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Oh my god. I'd be for yeah. it. I'm for it though. Like if you've got that luxury, fucking go no, get them, Tiger. Yeah, you, you have the money. I mean, you're go eventually get them, Tiger. It. It's fine. Like, what else? Don't help the crack addicts with five children who no, are on welfare. No. Just buy I'm a diamond cock ring instead. I'm pissed that my taxes are so high, so I gotta buy this diamond, diamond cock, cock ring, ring to alleviate alleviate my, my sorrow. anger, yeah. my sorrows for my high tax rate. Um. Supporting those fucking crack children who don't deserve to live. <laughs> they don't, yeah, fuck them. Be born in a better family next time, bitch. I don't yeah. know. I can't yeah. help you. We have a royal bloodline, much like me. Dumbass motherfucker. Some brick. Get down there in the crick. Yeah, get your craw cleaned out. Get your craw. If your mama had her craw cleaned out, <laughs> she, she would have been fucking with them crawdads. Ooh, yeah. Oh, Damn, I remember been playing around in some fucking sewers looking for crawdads when I was a kid. What Gross. Why? Well, not a sewer, but it was like a crick. Uh, <laughs> was it a sewer or a crick, Chet? Well, it was a crick that ran through a park, so I'm like, uh, some nasty shit could have got in there. Basically a but, sewer, yeah. But nasty shit can get into any crick. That's really. right. Most cricks are probably nasty. Yeah, I'm nasty. I'm a nasty crick. <laughs> you were a craw. <laughs> I'm a nasty craw in a crick. Crick craw? Crick craw. I'm a nasty crick craw looking for my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> one time, one time I, one time I seen a vending machine and it said craw daddies. What? Craw daddy. Yeah, you can get, you can get fucking worms and craw dads out of a vending machine. What the fuck? What kind of hickory is this bullshit? You've never seen those? It's no. like a fucking pot machine, but you can get worms or craw dads out of no. them? No, where are these at? They're out in this fucking bush. You'll see, you can find them. <laughs> I just don't, I don't jive with it. If you're about to go fishing and you ain't got yourself some worms or crawdads, you just go down fucking to the fucking... Fucking go to the vending machine. Vending machine? They just fucking got them in there. You oh really, you seriously, you've never seen this. No, I haven't. They exist, man, I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, I mean, I've like, I've bought worms at like shitty gas stations, but like I've never seen like a vending machine for <laughs> You've them. actually... You bought worms? You first Listen, one. well, no, I've not with like worms. not with like my money, but I've like gone fishing with my family and my dad's like, oh, we gotta stop and buy some worms first, you know. Did they ever use that fucking stink bait? Uh, no, we were not fishing for anything that intense. Um, do you know what that is? That's yes, I've smelled, well, here's, you want to know why like I know shit? what it is? Why? Because of the blue collar comedy tour. Oh, God damn. See, I, <laughs> I know what it is because I've had to have you been a around it you watched uh are you was it actual thing. stink bait or was it a bad craw that you're thinking of no a stink bait <laughs> like, well, my dad down to the fucking bait shop he's like yeah give me some of that stink bait and he doesn't he doesn't talk like that use some of that stink bait he doesn't have an accent he just sounds like a fucking prick um yeah he, yeah <laughs> sorry i'm just remembering yeah. something <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> don't mind me Actually, he kind of sounds, uh, I don't know what the fuck. Anyways, he's a nice guy. He fishes. 
Um, <laughs> Aw, that was sweet of you. Yeah. He, listen, he's a nice guy. He he's fishes really, the stink He's misunderstood. Nasty. He's, uh, nah, no, he's very understood. Um, Oof. <laughs> let me put it, um, what else do we got to talk about here? Dude. Yo. Heard you watched a movie today. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, I did. It was called listen. The Crimes of Grindelwald. <laughs> Here's the thing. I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> that's Crimes the new. What? That's the new Harry Potter movie. I don't fuck with that shit. Well, fuck you. First of all. Well, why? That's not a negative. I'm just saying. I personally don't fuck with it that shit. It is a negative. Trust me. I don't know if it's positive or. Here's the thing. It's negative. When I when I was young, um, I remember like a couple years. Like when are the books? I don't know. These books came out suddenly, and my fucking friends are reading them, and they're ooh fucking Harry fucking border and i was like i don't know what the, who the fuck this is <laughs> some wizard some wizard bitch fucking harry fucking porter is what you said no, i ain't playing with no i ain't fucking around no harry porter oh my what god is that shit <laughs> so they're doing this shit and then also like a year later these fucking movies start coming out and we go see harry porter so I'm like, i ain't doing it i ain't doing it pal i ain't even i ain't even read them i ain't done read the books so wait have you done none of the things what are what what are the things <laughs> like read the books or watch the movies i've seen like one two and a half of the movies how 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 I fall no but listen oh, okay because i was like you have been in this relationship that you are in for a long time and i know that she likes harry potter i was like how the fuck have you only watched one and a half movies because i'm like no 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 because you fall asleep because i'm like i'll listen I'll yeah. show, I'll, yeah, I fall asleep. Um, <laughs> well, there's no good. better way, there's no better way to make your distaste known for something. Than to and fall not be asleep a, during not it. To be a total, yeah, yeah, not be a total Trust dick. Me, ask me any of my ex-boyfriends. <laughs> That's, it's a universal thing. They make you watch it. You go, oh yeah, I'll watch that. Then your ass falls asleep. <laughs> and if the, here's the thing. Yeah. And you tell me, I don't know how it works in your deal or in your deals. Listen, in your deal, in your deal. Listen, you want a motherfucker to watch a movie and you're introducing them to the movie and you're making them watch the thing. Yep. You got to make them fucking watch it. You got to be diligent. You're like, what you doing? You watching this? Yeah. Put your, your phone down. Phone. Put don't that phone asleep. down. Open like, your eyes. You are, listen, open your eyes. You got to be on that motherfucker. You got to be like, listen, you're missing something great. Watch it. And you, the thought, maybe you catch them falling asleep. Oh, guess. Hey, don't. Hey, listen. <laughs> it's not my first time it's yours i'll rewind this for you, so you can... <laughs> god i hate being in those situations when i'm See, just not into the movie and they're like oh let me pop or like i'm like i have to pee and they're like let me pause it Ooh, you know what's the yeah, worst girl. wait yeah. you know what's the worst waiting, when, you're, you're, <laughs> when you're trying to like subtly go take a shit and they're like right. oh let me pause this for you and you're like no <laughs> that no, really no. won't be necessary and then they're like, no, no, we're gonna, we're gonna. So you try to be fast, but it's still been a good, like, five minutes, and you come out, and they're looking at you like, <laughs> it's like, I told you not to pause it. I, I never get that look, because I, anybody knows me knows <laughs> I take shit. Um, <laughs> no one's offering no, to pause mean, anything for you. Yeah, you're like, fuck that. <laughs> He's gonna I've be gone missed, for 45 minutes. I went to a goddamn theater and missed an entire movie once. <laughs> <laughs> that is like, all part of my plan. <laughs> Was it one um, of the Harry Potters? Uh, some cartoon. Um, <laughs> here's the thing. Yeah. I'm saying here. I've been on the other side, but I know, like, as I'm passive aggressively doing it. I'm like, oh, this motherfucker tried not to watch this movie. Yeah, oh, fat chance. Oh, this motherfucker don't like when I'm bringing the table. Trying to you trying to bring, you trying to voice some Harry Potter up on this shit. Now you ain't Harry gonna watch Potter? this. I don't uh -uh. think so. Uh -uh. Oh, I don't know. I'll pause it. I'll pause it. Take your I'll time. Wait. I'll yeah. Pause it. Take your 45 I, minute shit. I'll be here when you're done. Listen, I've seen the movie about 200 times. I know every single fucking thing that happens. <laughs> I'll just pause this. It's okay. Oh, God. Um, oh, you want, you want to talk on your phone? No, 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 no. I'll, I'll wait. <laughs> I want you to know in like two years when we finally actually watch Wild Wild West, you're not going to miss a minute of that movie. <laughs> listen, here's the thing. Because you're miscalculating. I will cherish watching this. I can be like, I can't believe you love such a shit movie. And that's fine. That's um, fine by me. Ask any, um, ask any of our other friends. I fully embrace it. 
here's the thing, man. Um, yeah. I was th- I did my research. I did, I, you know, I was like, listen, this wild, wild west, it really, something about it. I can't really, I don't know what it is, but something about it speaks to me. And I was like, what? I've never seen it. And I was like, what is it about wild, wild west that just like intrigues me or it has something, there's something there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you're like, yeah, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. I'm intrigued. Go on. No, no. But cause I, was, and I went back and I was like, what, you know, here, I got to pull this up now. Let me. Please. You know, like anyone else, Will Smith is awesome, national treasure. I'm not going to bash the man. But sure. at one point, at some point, my love affair died. Oh. And I was like, I wonder when that was. I wonder what happened. And it was and Wild I went, Wild West. Well, no, no, because i never seen the movie. But here, okay. let me go back. Let me pull this back. We'll go look at the filmography. And there is something to be something to be said um, about Wild Wild West in this equation. Um yeah. I'm ready. I'm stalling, I'm stalling for time as I wait. As you're pulling it up. Load. That's fine. I can cut this. I can cut this. Don't <laughs> worry. So I'm, a, I'm an old fuck, much older than you. So my, I go way back with Will Smith. I go totally. back all the way to the Fresh Prince days. Ooh. Um, I'm talking about like. When Sorry, it was actually, what's that? I'm talking about not even, I'm not talking about reruns. I'm talking about when this shit was on TV for the. The OG. <laughs> the OG. So it was on from like, uh, I don't know the years. It got canceled or it ended in 96. So it started sometime in. Uh, late 80s? Late 80s, probably. Yeah. Uh, nine, oh, it went from 90 to 96. Oh, so, right arm. Right arm? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, man. I'm a righty. <laughs> It just really casually slid that one in. <laughs> Fuck those left-handed fucking Indians. Uh, the Southpaws. Yeah, the fucking Southpaws. Unorthodox fucking perverts is what I call them. Uh, you want to uh, know how I know the term Southpaw? How do you know it? It's from this really shitty Christian parody of Baby Got Back. It's called Baby Got Bible. And it's by some guy oh, who Jesus. calls himself Southpaw. And I what would highly, know? highly recommend but do you know what a southpaw is? Yeah, it's a lefty. In like what? Uh, baseball. No. No? What is it? Fighting. Oh. Or maybe oh, it could where I got the too. idea of baseball. Yeah, I don't know. That just can't, that just spit right out. Like that's something that I, I subconsciously believe. Well, I have you no said clue. Where, I have no clue where that belief came from. But I was very confident. I was like baseball. Like you duh. said it so confidently. I questioned myself. I was like, <laughs> Oh, maybe uh-huh. stop from fighting. Maybe it is baseball, because I don't know I mean, shit about baseball. Where does Southpaw come from? I thought it was boxing. Or you're just probably right. I mean, yep, you're, you're right. right. You're right, okay. it's boxing. Thank Christ. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, you just shook me. <laughs> I get that a lot. So here's the thing, man. I'm with yeah. Will Smith. Fresh Prince, watching it. Listen, yep. that's, how progress- that's how progressive my family was. Oh, some white fucks up in the crick. They're like, hey, let's bring in Fresh Prince into this household. We don't yeah, give a let's, fuck. Let's watch a white black man on television. Yeah, yeah it's a very white show. They're like, what? Yeah. yeah, big deal. You watch <laughs> Family Matters and Fresh Prince. And the fuck, some fucking don't forget about Cosby, that motherfucker. Yeah, the Huxtables. Yeah. <laughs> that's the name of the family. Uh, yep. Bill, I didn't, you know, that's my least favorite. Family Matters, I like that. You got Urkel. Steve Urkel's cool. Fresh Prince, you got the Fresh Prince. You got the fucking, uh, what's his name? Wait. Dorky. Wait. Sorry, can I pause for one second? Yeah, I'll pause it. The family was the Huxtables, but what was the show called? Cosby Show. Yeah, what the fuck? What? Why is it called the Cosby Show if they're going by the Huxtables instead of the Cosby? Because his name's Cosby Huxtable. Are you fucking shitting me? I am shitting you. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it called The Cosby Show if they changed his name for the show? Because it's starring Bill Cosby. I'm pissed off, though. That's like... uh, (laughs) If you called it it The Huxtables, no one would know what the fuck you're talking about. Well, no, but why not have them go by The Cosbys? Like, why not have it be a show about The Cosbys? Because it's... I don't, that's some old... That's old-timey TV shit. Uh, they They don't do that anymore. Thank Christ. I don't think. Is there another show? Do they... Is there even a show... With what? That's just a name, like a person's name. Uh, not anymore, but like the Brady Bunch was about a family called the Brady's. Jesus, that's even older than the Cosby. Show. I know, but all I'm saying is Mary like Tyler Moore. Uh, her. You ever watch yes. that one, Mary? No, I didn't. 
Have you never watched that? Nick no. Nick. No, I never watched Mary Tyler Moore. I'm like, Fuck get off my bitch. dick. Get off my dick about it. She threw no, her fucking beret into the sky. She's a bad bitch. And then, she, and then they said, you're going to make it after all, girlfriend. Um, mm. What about, oh, Roseanne? There's a Roseanne. Oh, hey, the Drew Carey show. Yeah, um, he went by Drew Carey. Roseanne, she went by Roseanne. The Cosby show. Not going by Cosby. Fuck that, this. That is weird. Stupid. He's a fucked up motherfucker, though. So. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Anyways, here we go. Anyways, yeah. back to my Will Smith thing. Okay, you got Fresh Prince, okay? Yeah. The first movie I remember seeing him in would be Made in America, 1993, supporting character part. And I've seen that, um, enjoyed it. I'm like, oh, Whoopi Goldberg, hilarious. Oh, fuck I'm me a, up, yeah. I'm a huge Sister Act fan, among many others. Um, so you see Made in America, you go, okay, oh, there's, Will, there's the Fresh Prince. That's cool, I'm digging that. Yeah. Okay, a couple years later. He gets his first starring role. One of the first movies that I remember seeing in the theater, Bad Boys. Uh, like, oh my God. Oh my, Will Smith. He's fucking cool, right? I'm on the train. Yeah. I'm with I'm like Fresh Prince. Oh my God. So cool. Guess what comes out the year after Bad Boys? I go to the theater and see this as well. This what is, is it? I remember. Men in Black. Not, no. Independence Day. Oh, uh, of course it's Independence, Independence Day. Day. Independence Fuck Day. I, I, you know the reason I remember it? Well, Why? I remember it because it's a cool movie, and I maybe I told the story. We went to the theater, me and my cousin. We're gonna go see Independence Day. We're ex- we're fucking pumped. Fucking Fresh Prince. He's gonna fight a fucking alien. Fucking yeah. Jeff Goldblum. He's in it. Badass. Hell yeah. Fucking. We're in there. We're in the theater. Fucking. It doesn't play. They come in. They go. Oh hey, the film broke. You have to come back tomorrow. Thank you. We go home. We had drank some sodas that way. We're at the theater waiting for the movie. Me and my cousin get home. We shit our pants. Coincidence? I don't know. How do bo- how do both of us shit Wait, our pants? Yeah, that's that was my question. Okay. <laughs> I'm saying someone in the theater put something in our drink. That's what I'm yep, saying. That's all I'm saying. Because how do me so, and my cousin will shit wait, ourselves? Wait, wait. Yes. Imagine <laughs> all of the people who were still at the theater, just this mad rush for the bathroom. Because everyone has to shit. A bunch of people shit their pants at the theater that night. <laughs> See, this is what I was thinking. Oh, here's my theory of what happened. Yeah. And this is my yeah. conspiracy theory. Okay. We're in this afternoon showing of the movie, right? Yeah. Now, someone in the theater has slipped laxatives into all the drinks, okay, for the showing. Now, yeah. either the, the person that slipped the laxatives in, they got cold feet, and they're like, oh, fuck, this is good fucked up every, every single one in the fucking movie is gonna shit their pants or gonna know something shady's going on so they go up and they fucking fuck up the film so yep, they're like oh everybody's canceled. gotta go home bummer or there's a goddamn hero working at that theater and he knew some devilish villainous worker was up to some evil scheme putting laxative in all the drinks so and he, he saved and all your lives so he went and destroyed it and saved everyone so yeah. hmm it's one of those. And so I don't yeah. know what theory it is, but that's always been my theory. Anyways, yeah, we went, I'm with you. Went to see Independence Day. We got home. We shit ourselves. We took a bath. We took showers. <laughs> we up. Uh, next oh, day, we wait. went back and see. Wait, <laughs> did you took? Did you took? Did you take showers together? No. Okay, good. So wait, was one of you just waiting in your shit pants while the other one showered? Then yeah, it was him. <laughs> I'm too, much, I'm too much. I'm too much of a bitch, and it was at his house too. <laughs> Actually, oh, well, no. you're the guest. You're the guest. I'm the so guest. Go the first. Of honor. And I was always known as like the little bitchy cousin. I was like, what the, f-? you know, I'd throw. I'd be like, what the fuck? I was like, dude, I'm the guest. Shouldn't I be able? To? I'm showering. What the yeah. fuck? And I was like, you're fuck two months you. older than me. You gotta let the fucking younger one go first. Yeah, you can Correct? stand in your shit pants. Yeah. Well, I think he probably fucking change out of his pants and probably cleaned his ass out and all that. His crop. <laughs> I think we cleaned what? ourselves and then took a shower to to finalize to finish the job, as they say. Yeah. yeah. Um, anyways, so Independence Day, we see we shit ourselves. It's whatever. We go back the next day, see the movie, love it. Okay. Yeah. Guess what? Then guess what you have the next year. Men what do Black. I have? Men yeah. Black. Mm. I, guess what? Here's the thing. He left such an impression. I remember going to the theater and seeing all these movies, and these are several decades ago. I remember seeing yeah. Bad Boys. I could tell you who I was with. I was with my friend Devante and uh, some some white boy. I can't remember his name. But we were there. <laughs> um, yeah. Independence Day. Me and my cousin Aaron. Men in Black. Me and my friend Jacob. Went and seen it. It was awesome. Men in Black. 
breathtaking film. Okay, after after Men in Black, guess what comes out? Enemy of the State. Great film. Have you seen Enemy of the State? The government's no. watching everything. It's a conspiracy. The government can listen to everything. They want to fucking kill them for some bullshit. Anyways, seen that. I'm loving it. Guess what comes out the year after that? Men in Black 2. No, Wild Wild West. Yes! Can I, let me tell you, I did never seen it. So something happened. I'm with them. I remember all these movies vividly. Wild yeah. Wild West. I can't remember what turned me against it, but I had to have seen the trailer or the preview or something. And just That's, been like, this is garbage. Like, yeah, I'm fucking done. Because then he does Wild Wild West, and then I believe I've never, I've okay, I've seen a few of his movies since then, but I have never, ever, except for one time after that, went to a theater and paid to see a Will Smith movie. So Damn. You missed like, out on Wild the, Wild West. The Wild Wild West was the end of our love. Well, here, I'm lying. I, after that, twice, two times, did I go to a theater to see a Will Smith movie. And what were they? Men in Black 2. So it's like, okay, uh-huh. follow up. And Bad Boys 2. And Bad Boys 2. <laughs> and then that was it. <laughs> now, I have seen, I have seen Will Smith movies on video after oh, yeah. that. But not many. So I can go from, I did not see Wild Wild West. I did see Ali, but that's more because I'm a Muhammad, I'm a fucking Muhammad Ali fan. I'm a Cassius Clay fan. And those are not, sure. more, not really fucking, I didn't see that Bagger Vance bullshit. I've never seen that. What the fuck is I that? I know Bagger what that Vance? is. That's some bullshit. But I did go to the theater and see Men in Black 2. And then a year later, I did go to the theater and see Bad Boys. And I will tell you, disappointed, walked away going, what happened to Will Smith? What happened? Yeah. It's not the yeah. same. Okay, after that, he did some bullshit. I, Robot, never seen it. Hitch, I've seen it on video. Oh, classic. I didn't, I, didn't go, I didn't go to the theater and see it, but I've seen it. Well, no, um, who did? The Pursuit of Happiness. Didn't see it in the theater, but I've seen it. I watched it. Yeah. I was like, oh, it's a cute yeah. little movie. I Am yeah. Legend, never seen it. What the fuck? Hancock, never seen it. What the fuck? Seven Pounds, never seen it. What the fuck? Men in Black 3, <laughs> never seen it. Never gonna see it. Looks terrible. Yeah, I would not suggest... After Earth. Don't know what the fuck that is. What is um, that? Yeah. Uh, concussion. I've what? Seen, I've seen Concussion. I didn't see that. See, so he plays some fucking doctor and he's like, ooh, you get concussions if you play football. No shit. Um, <laughs> apparently people didn't know you got concussions if you played football before this. Oh, game. yeah. I think it was like some sort of cognitive dissonance or something. I don't know. Um, Suicide Squad. Seen it. It's a piece of shit. Uh, he's Bright. seen that? Suicide Squad? Yeah, yeah. He's in that. it's a it's a terrible movie. Bright. Yeah, I've not seen it. Terrible movie. Uh what the fuck is Bright? Some terrible movie. It's on Netflix. It's like a Netflix <laughs> original movie. It's shit. It's like it's like yeah. Will Smith, I'm a cop, and he's fighting with some fucking dwarves and fucking fucking uh woodlands creatures. Sorry. He's fighting dwarves? Like but like magical dwarves. What do you call those things? Like a, some Harry Potter bullshit. <laughs> some Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Like, there's some dwarves and some woodlands creatures and some fucking little fairies. Sorry, was he, was he Lord of the Rings? What is happening? Yeah, he's got the fucking ring. That fucking little guy who's fucking Smeagol. Smeagol, Schmeagol, um, Schmeagol, Schmeagol. Um, yeah, it's like bagel, but with a schm. But he's gonna be in this Aladdin movie now. That he's gonna play the genie. Genie, and, yeah. And I like Aladdin. I might check that yeah. out. I might get yeah. we'll have to see. I don't know if that, I want we'll to see how that goes. And uh, Bad Boys 3 is going to happen. So I don't Are know. you shitting me? I don't know. Maybe I'll see that. I don't know how long I don't know how deep my allegiances lie to Bad Boys. Yeah, I think, I think anything that's like 15 years after the fact just needs to be left alone. I don't know why they wait that long to do these sequel. I don't know. Here's the thing They're about They're just Bad... trying to make easy money. They're like, "Oh, why didn't we ever make a 17th movie? Let's do that." That's Fast true. and the Furious, I'm looking at you. But at least they make those like every other year. Yeah, that's true. They've been consistent. They didn't yeah. wait 15 years to be like, oh, let's do this. Yeah, I, I don't get this whole shit like waiting decades in between. Whatever, fuck it. All I'm saying is yeah. me and Will used to be tight. And then uh, yeah. he uh, did this fucking Wild Wild West movie. He started rapping <laughs> again. I never liked his rapping. I'm sorry. Oh, God, it's so <laughs> good. What are you talking about? I mean, yeah, we all get jiggy with it. And what was the he's other the one? whitest he's what the whitest he? black he some, guy he had some other ones but uh, yeah i don't even want to think back um i read did he do one for wild wild west did he do a song yeah wiki wiki wild yeah that wiki one wild wild west, west you know what west, desperado what 
That's why I want to turn me against it. That's why I want to crush this motherfucker. You heard the song and you were like, nope. I had to admit it because the fucking Men in Black song almost made me not do it. And I, Oh, um, God. Yeah. And, uh, the yeah. movie was strong enough to make up for it. Yeah. But yeah, that just might, stick to the acting, Will Smith. That might be true because, you know, when he first started out, when he did Bad Boys and Independence Day and uh, Enemy of the State, he didn't get back into his rap career yet. Yeah, he wasn't fucking with that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then he just, he's like, you know what? The movies are doing pretty good. I can probably sneak this rap stuff back in there, huh? Ugh, Some yeah, other. let me try to revive that. Yeah. Ugh. That's where it went Yuck. south. Yep, um, sure but, did. dude, I gotta say, like, fuck. That's a good run. Bad Boys, Independence Day, Men in Black, and then Wild Wild West. That's three movies. Yeah, I, I'm that's not, three. that's not that great of a run. I'm just gonna say that's it, That's a pretty actually. good run. Who else is at a better run? Um, and some plenty people, of actors. Some people like Wild Wild, actually Wild Wild West is like, I think I almost kind of ruined his career, but, um. I fucking love that movie. No, I, listen, <laughs> I love movies that are, are like shitty, not, not even shitty. Like, it may not be shitty, it just wasn't successful at whatever it was trying to achieve. Um, oh my god I, I i think it's comic gold personally no, i'm sure it's, i'm not I, i've never seen it that's so when i see it it's gonna be a, i may be like what the what was up my crawl i love yeah, you shit. might fall in love <laughs> James West, and it's got a lot going for it i like will smith we've established i'm a will smith guy you like I'm kevin klein i'm og and i'm kevin klein all the way this fucking guy kevin Hell klein. yeah kevin and West. fucking kenneth brana yeah that guy Oh, you don't know him. Wait a minute, let me click on him. Maybe I know him. Uh, you must know him. Um, I know he got so f- he has a familiar looking face. Let me. He's in a lot is of this, shit. But hey, he's... is this dude? Does he? Uh, is he also like a director or is he uh, an artist? Probably. Is he an artist in his own right? Shall I say? Let me look it up. That I don't. I think he did direct a movie. I don't know if he's he's directed anything several else. movies. Yeah. See, so, yeah, okay, now I recognize his name. He's in a Harry Porter. Yeah, he directed. <laughs> he's directed a couple good movies. Um, there you go. I know him more so for his directing than and his acting. Well, shit. I like his acting too because I've rec- recognized his uh, recognized his name and uh, credits. And he, oh, he did that old he did that old Mary Shelley's Frankenstein movie. I was a big fan of that. Some people don't like it. Yes, he did. Um, I like it though. I thought it was still well done. Um, yeah, that guy's cool too. Who else? Selma Hayek? A fucking Selma oh, Hayek, baby. yeah. She's a sexy oh, bitch. Oh, holy shit, Buffalo Bill's in this? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, he's a great character, dude. Do you know that guy's, like, fucking crazy in real life? Um, I'm not shocked by uh, it. I didn't know He's, like, it, fucking though. schizophrenic or some bullshit. Like, he's fucking nuts. Damn. Like, literally, uh, pretty crazy. <laughs> um, That's awesome. I mean, <laughs> I hope he gets well or is... <laughs> I'm jiving with it. But, uh, yeah, apparently he's crazy. Who else is in this? Um, yeah, some other people. I feel like those are all the big people. Kevin Klein's cool. I didn't realize he was so old, though. It's sad. Yeah, he's an old I motherfucker. Assume. Oh, damn. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Well, he, I'm <laughs> saying he's like... He's got... He's got one he's foot in, in the grave, fucking, that motherfucker. He's in his fucking uh, 70s, this old fuck. I want to see how deep I go with Kevin Klein. What's the first movie I... He might still have 30 That's good years. Wait, okay. Okay. What? Hey. What? Hey. We've we've got like an hour and 50 minutes of audio here. So what are you trying to say? I'm trying to say it's about 12:30 a.m. <laughs> Let's wind it down. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I'm still interested in how far back you oh, go no. with fucking what's his nuts. Well, you don't even know his name. I guess. <laughs> yeah, I don't even remember which actor we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> are you talking about Kevin? You know Klein? who the fuck we're. <laughs> no, you okay? If you don't want to, if you don't want to, if hey, if you don't want to reminisce about my history with Kevin Klein, that's fine. You know what? Go no, no, no. fine. Do no, Kevin no, no. Klein, but then no, I want to go to bed. I didn't know it was past your bedtime. <laughs> Bullshit! You didn't know. You know me. I was just so into this conver- I was in the conversation. I was in the moment. I didn't know what was going on. Aww. I, uh... Sorry, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Well, like, I mean, I'm interested, but I just didn't know if, like, listening to a podcast, I would be interested if I didn't know us. But isn't that every episode? (laughs) (laughs) Well, I feel like we're often discussing more universal topics. Like, You don't think Kevin Klein is universal? Hey! 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 
Yeah, I've, I've, <laughs> I've quieted myself. <laughs> no, but I wanted you to ask, like, yeah? <laughs> um, we didn't talk about dick this entire episode. I'm really proud of us. No, we did. We talked about a guy putting a ring on his dick. Oh, yeah, we did. Fuck. Okay, never mind. <laughs> and we talked about crawdads, which I think we were implying could be dicks. Crawdaddies, yeah. So we did We did talk about dicks. We did, you're right. Okay, fuck well, Sorry. fuck. Um, yeah, well, fuck Kevin Klein. Um, <laughs> Chet's yeah. gonna find a juicy adolescent angsty writing to share with us next week. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna write one tonight. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Fucking Kelsey broke my heart Kelsey. when she didn't want to hear about my relationship with Kevin Klein. It hurt. It hurt. <laughs> it hurt. Um, you changed. I stayed. <laughs> I stayed here talking about Kevin Klein. <laughs> for two more hours. I felt, I felt tampered with. Fuck you. I Fuck felt both dropped of you. and broken. And forgotten most of all. And forgotten. <laughs> I, um... I mean, I bet we fucking... We probably blew it. We probably had someone really hooked. They're like, fuck. Finally, I found a God. podcast where okay, we talk about Kevin it. Klein. And then, <laughs> and then, like, I love do Kevin it. Klein, too. How deep does he go with them? I wonder if he goes as deep as me. And guess what? Do it. Now you'll never know. I'm not gonna, t- I'm not gonna reveal it. It's a cliffhanger okay. now. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you can find us at facebook.com slash shooting the bush pod. <laughs> this is our last episode, so I hope you loved it. It was a good run. Hey, it was our dirty 30, though. I forgot to comment on that. Great. And we're recording it on the 30th. Wow, fuck you. Well, we, so listen, we could have made a, we Great. Made, we could have put a lot of effort into this, but we didn't. But we didn't. <laughs> per usual. Well, hell. hell. I'm going to go play in the creek. Oh, yep. Um, don't forget to check us out on Podbean, iTunes, Spotify, we're on YouTube, uh, Twitter at Two in the Bush Pod. You can hit us up on our Gmail, two in the bush pod at gmail.com, and that's the number two. And we've even got an Insta. We do. Yep. Okay. Oh, shout out to Marlisa for interacting with us on Instagram. Yeah, other people can do that too. Yeah, give it a shot. If Tell you... Kelsey what a bitch she is for cutting shut off about Kevin Klein. No. <laughs> no one thinks that. They they hate they, listen, if they're listening to this, they 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 love you and hate me for sure. <laughs> they're like, thank you. We were not interested yes, in you. listening to any more lists of actors movies if from you, Wikipedia it, or IMDb. It was not Wikipedia, it was IMDb. 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 It wasn't just a list. I was giving you my personal biography as it pertained to their list. That's really cool. Filmography. Oh Jesus Christ! I'm fucking. I'm. I'm glad that person <laughs> broke your heart. <laughs> yeah. I hope it still hurts. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> what What else do we? Um. Yeah. Go to all those social medias and let us know what's up. We'll be back. And send Chad a nice note because I think I sent him spiraling into depression. We'll, we'll be back next week. Oh, we will. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. You said this was our last episode, so I'm really touched by that. Uh, well, that was a joke, but I don't know. Oh, good. Thank God. Yeah, yeah we'll be back next week with some juicy uh, writing from Chet. Bye. Bye. <laughs>